With hundreds of shows hitting the small screen each year, there are bound to be some strange ones that slip under the radar, and a few that will have you wondering how they were ever made in the first place. Here are some of the most bizarre TV shows you won't believe actually exist. Vanilla Ice Goes Amish If you've been hoping to find a TV show in which a dressed-down Vanilla Ice moves in with the Amish, the DIY network has got you covered. In 2013's appropriately titled home improvement spin-off Vanilla Ice Goes Amish, the rapper assists his Pennsylvania Dutch host with a variety of tasks around the house. The rest of the time, he basically just sits on the porch, tells jokes, and does everything but embrace the Amish lifestyle. If that isn't good television, what is? The Swan Reality TV has really scraped the bottom of the barrel a few times, and you'd be hard-pressed to find a better example than The Swan, a two-season beauty pageant featuring so-called ugly ducklings, who receive extensive plastic surgery, life coaching, and psychological therapy. Unsurprisingly, some contestants were left both physically and emotionally scarred, and the show has rightfully been chastised for exploiting women with pre-existing personal issues. No matter which way you try to spin it, The Swan was ugly, exploitative, and just plain awful. Thankfully, the planned celebrity swan revival never made it to the air. Ramez in Control Egypt's Ramez in Control is like punked on steroids. Well-known television prankster Ramez Galal isn't afraid to take things to the absolute extreme. He once gave socialite Paris Hilton the ride of her life by staging an emergency airplane landing, though speculation has arisen that she was in on the prank all along. According to CNN, Galal once ran a prank called Ramez the Desert Fox, in which he and a group of armed men hijacked a bus before kidnapping and blindfolding the passengers. Yikes. The Puppy Channel Long before videos of keyboard-playing cats were only a few clicks away, there was a short-lived television pilot called The Puppy Channel. According to Upvoted, it actually tested well, too, with 38% of one focus group claiming they'd probably watch it at least once per day. Unfortunately, The Puppy Channel never did become its own full-fledged channel, but at least we still have Puppy Bowl. Sunset Days in 2010, WeTV launched their own geriatric Jersey Shore in the form of Sunset Days, a reality show featuring baby boomers gone wild. According to the LA Times, the show was a success among older viewers, but the under-50 demographic found the show's many age-defying one-liners cheesy, and the first episode's discussions regarding going commando struck many as cringeworthy. As a result, the show was put out to pasture after only one season. Prince of Poets Abu Dhabi's competition show Prince of Poets focuses on wannabe wordsmiths reciting their best lines to an enthusiastic crowd and a panel of judges. Unlike the United States, where poets are largely confined to open mic nights and coffee shops, the Arab world really digs its poetry. Poets in some parts of the Middle East are bona fide pop stars, filling stadiums with eager ears excited to hear some verbal bliss. Cop Rock have you ever found yourself watching a cop show like The Shield or Blue Bloods and wishing it was actually a musical? Probably not. But if you have, definitely check out 1990s musical police drama Cop Rock. ABC's bizarre cross-genre show only lasted 11 episodes, and has since found its way onto more than its fair share of worst TV shows of all time lists. But no one can deny the fact that the show is a lot of fun to laugh with and laugh at. The show also deserves credit for trying something new in the industry full of recycled ideas. After all, when's the last time you've seen a singing baby merchant on TV? The Flying Nun It's hard to imagine a major network greenlighting a show about a flying nun. What's even harder to believe is that such a show would make it through more than 80 episodes. The Flying Nun aired on ABC from 1967 to 1970, and featured Sally Field as a novice nun whose small frame and stiff cornet made her susceptible to gusts of wind. As one might expect, the comedy is fairly mediocre. In fact, as Field told Oprah Winfrey in 2008, she didn't even want to do the show. Fortunately, she transcended the ridiculous role and went on to enjoy a long, award-filled acting career. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.